Well, I started about almost uh, it's our tenth year coming up. Tenth year anniversary is coming up. I'm in uh, August twenty third this year. Um, yeah, it was a good niche for Charlestown when I was looking to possibly open up a restaurant and my space was available. It was kind of like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree that nobody wanted. It's like a beat up old space that had gone bankrupt a few times before me. I took it over. And um, I was like, you know, Charlestown needs a lot of higher end restaurants in Charlestown at the time. There were like the Olives, there was a Meze, the high end Greek place I actually got. I used to love Meze, but it was noisy. Yes. Very noisy. I was a line cook there 11 years ago. No kidding. And now the, sh the, the chef there has actually opened up my new restaurant for me. <laughs> no kidding. The one I work for. That was a very good, for Boston, that yeah. was a great Greek restaurant. It was great, yeah. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from the mistakes and so forth. And it was a great experience. And I figured out, you know what, I think I can do this on my own. After this being a line cook there. I knew I had the business sense, I thought. So the space in Charleston came available. And I was like, I'm going to put like a middle of the road place. Cause we already have um, some nice pubs. And, you know, we have the Ironside Ward Tavern great old place and we have the 99 but we need something in between and uh, we you know like especially like a wine bar and Charlestown's a definitely a um, female densely populated area and I love wine and no one really has a wine bar the sports bars or someplace that's too high end so I want to go to the middle of the road restaurant and it took off about a year later maybe. sounds like an intimate place to hang out at it is it's great it's about 60 seats inside outdoor patio we have like 30 something seats outside and I checked your website this morning. Uh, you've won your share of awards, yes, including, yeah. the, including the Stanley Cup. Yeah, that was my most important. <laughs> it really was. The awards are nice. To tell you too, they really don't mean much to me at all. Uh, what means the most is when the customers come to my place for like their special occasions, their anniversaries, they want their wedding showers there, and seeing them coming over and over again through the years. That means most to me. But the best of awards, I mean, it's nice to get recognized, but really doesn't mean anything to me. Really? So tell us what's on the menu. That's the greatest award. Yeah, well, I, I, I call, um, I guess, these dishes kind of like my 401k plan, because uh, someone's always trying to get me to invest. I'm like, no, I have my 401k. I go, uh, ginger sake grilled salmon, mm. um, our ro roast uh, chicken, and then we have our hanger steak with um, homemade pomme frites, you know, like a homemade bordelais sauce that we make. And that's really like the holy trinity of the, uh, the bistro. And that's uh, so really, no matter what you put on the menu, those are always the top three. Um, sellers. And now our homemade wild mushroom raviolis are up there too. Those have really become a staple in the menu. Yum. So